There are a lot of hand planes out there and this is my hand planes. This is the ones I own. And today I want to talk to you about um, if you can only buy one hand plane for beginners, which one should it be? Which one is the most useful? Which one you should invest your hard earned money? Well, I'm going to show you my hand planes. I'm going to tell you which one I reach for the most and which one I think is the most useful, the one that you should purchase as your first hand plane. The first hand plane I'm going to show you, it's my spokes plane. It looks something like this. And I use this one when I'm trying to, you know, shave a square piece of wood to make it into a dowel. And before I take it through my doweling jig, I will shave the corners off. So the way it works, you just put it towards you and shave the wood. As you can see, it gives nice thin shavings. And this is what I use it for. This is a spokes um, plane. The next hand plane I have here, it's a router plane. And a router plane looks something like this. And the way I use this one is for, let's see if I have something here to show you. When you have a groove, let's say you make a rabbit or a dado and you need to make it maybe a little bit deeper or adjust it in any way. Well, this um, one adjusted like this, the depth, and you can go inside of your groove and clean up the groove and make it deeper or whatever adjustment you need to do. This uh, router plane, it's really, really useful for that. So that is a router plane. The next one, it's a black plane. This is a Stanley and I bought this one on Amazon for $30. It looks something like this. And I'll have to tell you, I spent about five hours trying to flatten this plane and sharpen it and it just does not work right. It's just, it's good for uh, cutting the edges of a piece of wood. It will shave those really nicely, but I could never really sharpen it and make it work really smoothly. So I guess in a way, it's kind of you get what you pay for. I've seen people that are very experienced with hand planes, restoring these things and making them sharp and flat and works like magic. For me, I could not make this thing work properly for me. The next black plane I have, it's from uh, Wood River. Now this is not a cheap black plane, but it is premium. It's a really, really nice black plane. The sole is flat right out of the box and I did have to sharpen it. But my problem with this black plane is if you have smaller hands or if you're a female, when you hold it like this, this knob here, I don't know what it's called, but this thing sticks out so much that when I hold it, I can barely grab it with the tip of my fingers. So that makes it very uncomfortable to use. I feel like I'm going to, you know, slip it out of my hand at all times. So even though this is a really, really good quality plane, you need a big hand in order to, you know, hold it securely. My next black plane is from Leon Nielsen. And this black plane, it's different than all the other black planes. This is called a rabbiting black plane. And that is because the blade goes all the way to the sides versus a regular black plane. You see, it doesn't go all the way to the sides. And this one, it's an incredible black plane. It comes flat, the sole is flat out of the box. It works really, really well. It takes the most beautiful shavings with very little effort. I did sharpen the blade, but um, it fits really nicely in the hand. It is smaller so you can get a good grip of it. And this one, you use it as a black plane for anything you need to do from doing, you know, little shavings to smoothen the surface, to knocking down the edges. And you can also create rabbits with this. The way this will work, is you'll take your piece of wood that you try to put the rabbit on and you'll clamp another piece of wood on it or put double sticky tape or whatever you choose. And then you can take your plane and shave away and create your rabbit. And because the blade goes all the way to the edge, you can create a rabbit using this other piece of wood as a guide. So that's a bl rabbiting block plane. Next, we have a shoulder plane. A shoulder plane, it's kind of the same uh, idea like the rabbiting plane. It is a lot skinnier and those, the same thing, you can create rabbits with it. 
You can also use it to clean your rabbit for, let's say you use your table saw and you do not have a flat tooth blade and you cut your rabbit, but then you have those wavy lines. You can take this and really clean it out. The same thing with the rabbiting black plane. Uh, very, very useful. And I would have to say this one, um, this one is from Veritas. Really nice plane, but it is very hard to adjust. And I don't know, I just never reach for it just because of that. My next two planes are two planes that I bought on a garage sale. This is a four and a four and a half Stanley. I bought them for $5 each. I restored them. And I'll have to tell you one of them, the blade is not in good shape. But the one that the blade is in good shape, what I use it for is for when I have glue squeeze out, I use this to knock over the glue. And because I only paid $5, I don't care. You know, the glue I use, it's water-based. So it might rust your plane if you use it a lot for glue, if you do not oil it and take care of it. So that's what I use it for. I use it for removing the glue squeeze out. So a four and a four and a half Stanley. Then we have the Stanley number five. These two are different. One has a corrugated bottom, one it's smooth bottom. And I bought these two at the same garage sale. I paid $10 for each one of them. They are in great shape. I did not sharpen them yet. And uh, they're the same thing for smoothing surfaces. They work great. That's what those two planes are for. The next one, it's a Stanley number 62. They call this one the sweetheart. And this is a low angle plane. Low angle planes are my favorites because they work really well on the end grain. So you don't get tear out. This plane, it was my favorite for the longest time. And the reason why is because it came really, really sharp out of the box. And because I was new to woodworking and I didn't know how to sharpen a plane, that really, really attracted me. And I was able to get like glass smooth, smooth surface with this plane. My next one is a jointing plane. This thing, it's a Veritas number seven. And as you can see, this thing, it's massive. It's massive and it's heavy. You would do this to hand joint boards. It works really, really well. It's very, very sharp, but I was never able to successfully join two boards with that plane. And that is because I have not have experience with it. And it's been sitting in my shop and didn't get any love because I don't know how to use it properly. My next plane, it's a shooting board plane. And this is another Veritas shooting plane. This one looks different because you can see it has an L shape. Um, let me bring the shooting board closer so you can see what's happening here. So this is a shooting board. It looks something like this. And let me make some room in here. Oh, I skipped one. I see I skipped one. Uh, one plane, I'll get back to that in a second. So the shooting board will fit here onto my vise. And this shooting plane, it will fit right onto this track. That way it stays completely 90 degrees to my board. And then when I need to shave a little bit out of a board, you just put it against this fence. And this shooting board makes it really, really easy to do uh, fine adjustments. And I love having a shooting board plane. Now this thing is not cheap. It's in the upper 400. If not, I think I paid 500 for it. So really expensive, but very useful. My last plane that I wanna show you is this tiny thing from Bridge City Tools. Now, this looks like a toy. It feels like a toy. It's so tiny yet it's so powerful. I absolutely love this plane and um, I reach for it all the time because it's small, because it works really well. It comes really, really sharp right out of the box. It even has a secondary bevel on it. And it just, I use it every time when I build something just to knock over the corners. And this is just my favorite plane to use at all time. Now, I liked it so much that I went ahead and purchased another one, even though I already had one. 
And that is because when I purchased mine, the price was around $200. And I've never opened this one. This is brand new. It came today in the mail. That's what made me make this video. But I want to show you when you open it, premium blade. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not even going to put any affiliate links or any links in the description. You can go check it out by yourself. But this is what that looks like, really well packaged. And what I like about this one, why I think it's a great, great plane for beginners, it is really, really easy to adjust. It just has this one knob over here. If you want to take the blade out, it has this little orange thing in here that is magnetic. It just, you know, sits on your blade. And then you can pull the blade out that easy. And then it only goes in one way. Bevel up, it has these two holes that it just fits in there onto this knob. I don't know if you can see. And then you take your magnetic orange thing and this puts just the right pressure on it. I push it in too deep. There you go. Tighten it. And then this is the knob that will push your blade. Let me loosen it a little bit, it's too tight. And this will move your blade um, up and down. So really, really easy to use. And let me show you the blade. I bought a replacement blade just so I have it, just in case I nick one or something. And I'm gonna show you a brand new blade. I've never opened this. I wanna show you how sharp it is and it already has the secondary bevel. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. You see that? Very, very, very nice blade. So which one should you buy if you are a beginner woodworker and you can only buy one hand plane? Which one should that be? Well, here's my two cents. If I could only have one hand plane, I would get one of these two. This is the Leon Nielsen rabbiting plane, and this is the Bridge City tool. By the way, when I bought this one, the first one, the uh, plane was around 200 some dollars, and right now they have it on sale for $75. When I ordered my second one, it was $65. So there, if you are looking to get something like this, go get it now while it's in sale. But anyway, this is the one I reach for the most because it's tiny, it's light, it works really well for knocking out those corners. I use it the most. However, this one is probably the most versatile and really good quality hand plane. And the fact that it's a rabbiting hand plane and you can get on very close to the edge and clean out your rabbits and so on. I think this one, it's the most versatile. I think this is the one I use the most. So just, you know, my own opinion, you can get whatever you need for your shop. But this is my hand planes. This is the ones I use the most and the ones I think that are the most useful. I hope this was useful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.